Hello and welcome. Welcome to Edukimi's YouTube channel. You are uh, watching the live transmission of uh, the featured news for 22nd September 2021. We'll wait for a couple of minutes and we'll quickly begin the featured news after that. Meanwhile, this is uh, the Edukimi's Daily Gazette. This magazine that we release, this magazine is released from Monday to Friday. And uh, the articles that we select in the magazine are designed for preparation for an exam like UPSC. The articles are based on current affairs and we largely divide the articles in the form of a featured news snapshot section. We have terms and concepts, we have editorials and we have case studies. Now, the important rationale behind having all these sections is to ensure that you have a holistic coverage of an article in feature, feature news section. So, uh, featured news on artificial intelligence and human rights. This will come. This is this is a complete discussion of what are the uh, advantages, what are the latest developments of artificial intelligence, how it is impacting human rights, and what are the issues. You will be able to write an answer after having gone through an article like this. The snapshot section is a quick update of what is happening around the world, especially in relation to the current affairs UPSC perspective government exam perspective. The third in terms and concepts. Now these terms and concepts become important from pre-exam perspective. You can also provide such kind of fodder uh, in your mains exam, right? So these are terms and concepts. And then we have uh, editorials. This is the place from where you get a wider perspective, a wider perspective to what are the things happening and uh, what is the opinion of the important think tanks, right? And then we have case studies. These case studies are very beautiful, encouraging case studies. You can present them in your discussions. You can present them when you go to your interview exam. You can present them and build confidence for yourself. So this is how it has been designed, very anal analytically and scientifically designed uh, Gazette magazine. The magazine gets uploaded on the website by 4 p.m. every day. And these are based on the articles from the newspapers. Seven to eight newspapers are selected. Along with that, we have uh, coverage from PIB and all other government websites, international reports. They're all countered and then we scan them through and then we publish this magazine daily from Monday to Friday. You will be able to find this magazine on the website, Edukimi's website. So when you go to edukimi.com, you will be able to find a section which is called as resources. In resources, current affairs, and this is where you will find the Gazette magazine daily updation from Monday to Friday. So now we are going to begin the featured discussion for today that is for 22nd September 2021. The featured news for today is on artificial intelligence and human rights. Now this is one of the most important topics of uh, debate, ethical topic of debate uh, during these times because these are the modern times when we see human energy being replaced by automated technologies. Automated technologies from the end of uh, the assembly line to be able to even uh, wind up our curtains. So curtain raisers, not only that, but we have artificial intelligence technology thinking for us what we should be doing. So uh, lately we also had this first humanoid robot which also became the citizen of uh, Saudi Arabia, right? So this became in 2017. We are talking of artificial intelligence taking over human effort, human load. But while this interaction happens, there is also uh, some ethical dilemma. This dilemma is about what kind of work the device should do, what kind of work that particular device should not do. There are places where artificial intelligence aids human labor. There are places where they are able to provide equality of services equity to all human beings and I will discuss this with examples but there are places where they replace humans and they are not able to think emotionally they are able to think with rationality one very good example of this is uh, the use of artificial intelligence algorithms to be able to determine the incentives so these Zomato workers Zomato and uh, Ola drivers these people these gig workers when they work for us their incentives are based on how much or how many trips or rides they have taken. The artificial intelligence mechanism algorithm is designed in a way that just as they are able to complete that threshold beyond which they will be able to get those incentives, the machine will not provide them work. 
right so machine is based on rationality but human mind is not only based on rationality it has got two parts one is emotive and the other one is reasoning right and this is where the artificial in intelligence is not able to balance this they are largely about rationality they are about performance they are about work so uh, while there are several advantages of artificial intelligence that we discuss right now let us look at them uh, one by one we will also discuss what are the shortcomings what are the human right crisis the first thing is automation see human has always endeavored to become free so hum humans in the ancient times after they would uh, get into activities of hunt hunting they would get back to their homes and they would spend free time leisure time by dancing by music by playing music and by being in the community and this is what is happening again when automation of, of work is being done with the help of artificial intelligence now automation is being aided with the help of artificial intelligence so there is an artificial intelligence which has been created to aid it right so this is one good example it eases human labor in present times not only that we see now good example every point must be presented in with an example in your exam so automation you can pro provide the example of assembly lines then moving ahead equality and equity look at the important government schemes very exam very simple example is the aadhar scheme have we not utilized aadhar scheme to be able to provide equality to people with the help of uh, these automated devices yes we have what about the uh, presence of covid vaccine just because of artificial intelligence we have been able to control and contain this pandemic this soon right and creation of vaccine this soon so this is a good example of equality and equity of reach through the help of artificial intelligence moving ahead this is the kind of technology that we need that we need to be able to solve the contemporary problems of disaster management of climate change climate things of pollution so sustainable development is something that can be aided with artificial intelligence it goes it goes far beyond human capacities and this is how it is able to uh, help humans realize their own potential and growth amenities they provide innumerable amenities to us and in times to come humans will not be fighting wars it will be the artificial intelligence robots humanoids which will be able to fight these wars and therefore they actually provide the basic essence the basic essence of uh, being able to handle the situation that human cannot however if you actually see the opposite side of it the opposite of it is again true how artificial intelligence does not aid human labor one simple example is it decreases the jobs for humans so when the low end jobs are getting automated we have seen these examples very simple example is upi aiding automation with the help of uh, providing these automated doors at uh, the parking slots we have discussed this article so these kind of jobs are no more there for human beings what will they do so this is another ethical concern for humans what about uh, equality and equity artificial intelligence in one is one technology which will run through human mind and human mind can mold this software to work against humans just the example of zomato workers right uh, moving ahead what about disaster response and sustains in climate change we are totally dependent on this kind of thing instead of looking at the ethical challenge and trying to maintain that distance of morality from what is to be done and what is not to be done we are getting dependent on this kind of technology so this dependence should not be done right amenities are there with us but are they distributed equally no they are not what about wars if we have wars where humanoids human robots will be fighting wars do you think that war is going to end ever it will never end there will be always a competition between the various uh, countries and where various sides and therefore uh, i would like to bring your attention to the three law laws of robotics now robotics is one one domain of invention which is using artificial intelligence it is using robots which can be designed to think well right but uh, right in the beginning of 20th century asimov he was one of the writers fictional writer scientific writer he wrote three laws of robotics and these are the laws of robotics that can come in pre exam they can be written when while you talk about ethical principles during the age of automation what you can write about is the first law of robotics which states that a robot should not and must not injure a human being through inaction or action so they should not ensure that any harm is caused to human beings this is the first law of asimov of robotics the second one says that it must obey all human orders that is good because it is going to help humans but as long as it does not counter the first order that is injuring a human being 
and the third one says that a robot robot must protect its own existence so these are the three and the first one is the most important and then second and third one so protecting humans right then uh, follow their orders and then after that it should protect its own existence these are the three but asimov later realized that there is one law which is even more prime that is the zeroth law zeroth law states that a robot may not harm humanity not only humans but humanity as a whole and this is where the ethical challenge between what artificial intelligence should do and what it should not do comes so morality is in question right uh, morality about work morality about what all domains should be there in artificial intelligence should it be aided only with the help of uh, technological development should it participate in war should it participate places at places where there is uh, employment being uh, vulnerable for humans these are the kind of questions which have been raised and that is why our uh, featured news for today talks completely about this uh, scenario toronto declaration was about this landmark statement where we talk about uh, the basic distinction between what artificial intelligence should be able to do and what it should not participate in in fact united nations has also said that uh, artificial intelligence will not be participating in any kind of developmental activity till we segregate those places where it is harming humanity and where it is not harming humanity it must participate at only those places where humanity is not getting harm so until then there will be moratorium of all the kind of artificial intelligence creations so this is the featured news for today and what can be done for future so uh, for future what can be done is to lay a certain balance between what ai should be participating in what automation should be about this is the age of technology technology trans transformation we are talking of inter industrial revolution 4.0 and this is the time when we have to divide what machines should be participating in and what they should not be participating in right and this is a challenging time for humanity because there are there are countries there are uh, organizations which are into building of these devices and selling them to people and this is where the uh, organizations like united nations regional bodies should take an ethical stand right after having understood various angles to the uh, domain of this feature article that is artificial intelligence the laws of uh, robotics what it aids in what artificial intelligence negative points are all you want to th do is think about these points for 30 seconds and after that you can attempt this question this question says discuss the various ways in which artificial intelligence impacts human rights right now we have come to the conclusion of the feature discussion for today and uh, uh, you think about this question and even if you are not able to write think about it and think about what important pointers will you be able to write in the exam and uh, tomorrow again we will see you at uh, 6:30 pm for the feature discussion and 5:30 pm for the gazette discussion so uh, till then all you can do is uh, you can give a thumbs up if you like this video write some comments if you want certain topics of relevance to be covered please uh, write them too and you can uh, subscribe to this channel if you want to receive timely updates for the live video thanks for watching